There she is. Come, whoa. Calm down, Mr. Smallmouth. Calm down. Calm down. Huh? This is my favorite fish. I love catching smallmouth. And where I live up in the North Country, we've got a lot of smallies to chase. Oh, here. Look at that, huh? Beautiful fish. Hi, everybody. I'm Al Linder, host of the Edge Television Show. You know, I've been fortunate enough to make a living in the fishing industry all my life. And in that 35 year period, I've seen a lot of neat things happen. And this is one of them. It's the best bait casting reel I've ever seen in my life. I believe it's the best one available in the world today. This is a Shimano Calais 200 DC. DC stands for digital control. This baby does things no other reel is capable of doing. Look how simple this is. One lever, you pop the lever, it opens. Here's your setting. X stands for extreme distance. L, long distance. A, accuracy. W, win. The X mode stands for extreme distance mode and it's got a very low brake force. This is great for surf casting. Some of you might be in competitive distance casting. Or how about schooling fish where you really gotta get a bait out some distance. L mode stands for long distance. It has various brake forces. It's ideal for low resistance plugs like pencil baits, uh, vibration baits, top water baits. It also serves as an all around mode for most bass fishing conditions. The A mode stands for accuracy mode. This is a continual strong braking force. This brake mode is designed to prevent overruns by reducing spool rotation. It happens immediately after the cast and then continues to add tension after the middle stage of the cast. This characteristic of brake mode is especially ideal for accurate casting styles like pitching or skipping. The W mode, the wind mode. I'm facing into a 20 mile an hour wind. I'm fishing with a spinner bait that has a lot of wind resistance. How many bait casting reels have you ever seen that you can engage it engage the reel, cast into that kind of wind, get 40 or 50 feet of distance, take your thumb off the reel and not have a problem with it? Don't believe it can be done? Watch this. Look at that. I just threw that bait approximately 50 feet away, took my thumb off, the bait hit the water, the spool immediately stopped turning. Now that's what I call amazing.